Hello, I'm Mary King, staff writer and restaurant expert with Fit Small Business, here today to review the Square for Restaurants point of sale. Square for Restaurants is built on top of the uber popular Square payments and e-commerce platform. If you are looking at Square for Restaurants for your restaurant, your biggest competition, your biggest decision is probably between Square for Restaurants and Toast. They're both excellent systems with a lot of great features. They both regularly appear, in fact, on our annual ranking of the best restaurant point of sale systems, which is handily linked in the description box below if you want to check that out. And we've previously done a head-to-head -head written comparison evaluating the differences between Square for Restaurants and Toast, which is also linked below if you want to take a deep dive and see what really is different between these two systems. But overall, Square for Restaurants is a user-friendly, cost-effective iPad restaurant point of sale that would suit food and beverage businesses from food trucks to busy quick-service restaurants and full-service restaurants, especially those on a budget but Square's tools are best suited for single venue operations that prioritize affordability and general small business tools over higher level functions like advanced menu reporting and inventory management. Also, if you wanna shop for the lowest processing rates around, Square's not for you because you will be locked into Square's built-in payment processing. Some limitations with credit card pre-authorizations can slow bar operations, so we also don't recommend Square for busy bars and nightclubs. And if you're looking for built-in ingredient level, ingredient level inventory management with vendor management and purchase order management, you'll probably be happier with something like Toast or Rebel Systems because Square only has those tools available through third-party operations. Pardon me, third-party integrations. Uh, but let's get into pricing. That's really where Square stands out. Square for Restaurants is offered at three different subscription tiers, free, plus, and premium. As the name suggests, free is, well, free for software on unlimited terminals. This price gives Square the edge over all of its competitors, including Toast, which also offers a free starter subscription, but not for unlimited terminals. With Square's free plan, all you'll pay are Square's processing fees. The plus tier is available for $60 per month for the first terminal and $40 for each additional terminal. At the plus level, you get additional tools like seat and course management. So full service restaurants will absolutely need at least a plus level subscription, but you can test drive the plus level for free for 30 days. But just as with the free tier, there's no long-term contract, so you can walk away at any time if the plus tier is not a fit for you. The premium tier adds marketing and loyalty, and it's offered at custom quoted prices for larger multi-location restaurants. There are eligibility requirements to qualify for premium membership, which also comes with custom quoted processing fees. You can also add optional add-on modules like team management, marketing, loyalty, and invoicing for individual prices. But keep in mind, the prices listed here are the current pricing at the time this video was recorded. If you want the most up-to-date pricing, you should still check with Square to make sure you're on the same page. But let's talk about processing fees. Unlike a lot of restaurant POS systems that include built-in payment processing, Square for Restaurants publicly lists its payment processing rates. Currently, for in-person payments, you can expect to pay 2.6% plus 10 cents. Online payments are a little bit higher rate at 2.9% plus 10 cents, and manually keyed payments incur a rate of 3.5% plus 5 cents. If you process more than $250,000 annually though, you can request a custom rate quote. And again, these rates reflect the pricing at the time this was filmed. So the rates can change at any time based on Square's discretion. But now that we've covered pricing, let's take a deeper look at functionality. Unlike legacy point of sale systems, you can self-install Square for restaurants by simply downloading it from the Apple App Store onto a compatible iPad. 
and you can use hardware that you already own. When you log into your Square dashboard in your browser, you'll immediately be prompted to set up your restaurant's business information and connect a bank account so you can begin receiving payments. There is no long application process or approval process. You can start accepting credit card payments as soon as you verify your bank account, and you can start accepting cash payments right away. If you're already up and running, you'll see sales and performance stats as well as any current alerts for updates or incoming orders. On the left is where you'll find all of your settings and management tools for reports, menu management, orders, customers, your website, and more. And we're just gonna jump right into a few of the key features. So let's talk about setting up your menu. That's one of the first things you'll do. Uh, to create menus in Square for Restaurants, first you have to create individual menu items. You can add these menu items individually in the Square for Restaurants dashboard, or if you have a large menu, you can upload multiple items via a .csv file and update menu items with bulk actions in the Square dashboard. You can also add images which will immediately populate your online store when you set that up. We'll get to that soon. Um, you can also add, if you scroll down, um, add on-hand counts to set up low stock alerts that will auto 86 in your point of sale system if you have a limited supply of something. Uh, you can also easily manage modifiers for dishes that have variables like choice of sides or cooking temperatures. And via add-ons like the free Square online store and various delivery integrations, you can also receive orders in your point of sale from multiple sources, whether they're in-house orders, online, third-party platforms, or QR code ordering. Though to get the course and seat management, like we said before, you'll need a plus or premium subscription. But let's talk about the Square online store. Every Square account comes with a free online store, which is really great if you want to get into online ordering. Square is the only restaurant point of sale system that comes with a free online ordering site. Just like setting up your point of sale, Square guides you through setting up your online store. You can host your online ordering site on your restaurant's web domain if you already have a website, or you can host your site for free on a Square affiliated domain if you don't have a website yet. If you want to offer delivery, Square includes driver management tools for managing an in-house team of drivers. These tools cost 50 cents per delivery, so you only pay for what you use. You can also, if you want to, hail on-demand delivery drivers using DoorDash Drive, or simply integrate your Square point of sale with third-party ordering and delivery platforms to handle the entire online ordering and delivery ecosystem. Square integrates directly with Postmates and Slice. Additional third-party platforms are only available via integrations, though, so you'll need middleman apps like It's a Checkmate, Chowley, and Deliverect if you want to have multiple third-party platforms. And those do come with their own fees, so you'll want to be sure to check that out if that's the direction you're headed. Like many systems, Lightspeed, Toast, some others, Square automatically creates a customer profile from any credit or debit card transaction. The system will automatically track your customer's purchase history, but you can customize your customer profiles by adding contact information, birthdays, and notes like dining preferences or food allergies. These customer profiles are the foundation of Square's loyalty program, which is included in premium subscriptions, but free and plus users can get a 30-day free trial for the loyalty. Um, after that, pricing ranges from $45 to $105 per month currently, and it depends on how many loyalty visits you use per month. This might make it tricky to budget, but this pricing structure is very, very friendly for small restaurants since you don't pay for a tool or a service unless you actually use it. 
You can customize how you reward customers, whether by dollars spent, number of visits, or items purchased. You can offer multiple reward levels and print free in-store signage to advertise your rewards program in your restaurant. The loyalty and customer database also provides the information to drive your optional Square marketing tool. So let's take a look at that. Like loyalty, Square marketing is included in premium subscriptions. Both free and plus users get a 30-day free trial and monthly pricing based on use after that. Prices for Square Marketing currently start at $15 per month and go up to $35 per month for around 2,000 customer contacts. You can certainly contact more than 2,000 customers per month. Square offers packages for up to 75,000 contacts, um, and you'll need to contact them for pricing. The marketing tools are email-based, allowing you to segment your customers into hyper-focused categories like January birthdays, beer lovers, or VIPs. You can then send customized promotions to each of these customer groups. Your marketing module tracks these contacts and customers so you can measure the effectiveness of each campaign and strategize for future efforts. Square includes a slew of email templates that help your marketing messages look sharp and enticing. So moving back into Square for Restaurants dashboard, let's take a look at the inventory features. Square for Restaurants users should note that Square's built-in inventory only tracks whole items, like whole menu items or bottled beverages. The inventory tool was designed primarily to support retail businesses, and the restaurant inventory is only lightly updated from the retail version. So you'll notice some language about item variations and sizes that's still pretty retail centric. The inventory is not ingredient level, so you can't tie individual ingredients to menu items and track your overall stock levels like you can with a system like Toast or, or Rebel. You can, however, place counts on menu items so they automatically 86 when you sell out of them. For small operations, this might be all the functionality you're really gonna use. If you want ingredient level inventory with purchase order management and vendor management, Square integrates with popular third-party inventory tools like Market Man, Yellow Dog, Digital Pour, um, and several others. Though these tools do come with their own monthly fees, so you'll wanna budget for that. Square for Restaurants reporting module also has the basics covered. You'll get built-in reports that track sales, labor, payment methods, voids, comps. Um, if you use the attached KDS system, you can also see kitchen productivity reports and ticket times. Uh, these reports have your business covered, but they don't have the deep menu and performance analytics that you can get in systems like Upserve by Lightspeed. You do get some customization though. You can filter reports by day, week or month, and you can also build simple custom reports that include several of these pre-built reports on a single page, which is useful for end of day reporting and end of month reporting. So as you can see, Square for Restaurants is a pretty feature rich, easy to use iPad point of sale system that offers tools and pricing for restaurants of all sizes, especially the small guys that frequently get overlooked by bigger, bigger systems. Um, it's a great fit for small and growing independent restaurants that want to add easy online sales. If you want to learn more about Square for Restaurants and how it works with Square's broader small business software ecosystem, check out the link to our full review in the description below. And if you want to see how Square stacks up against other options on the market, check out the included links for our article on Toast versus Square for Restaurants, as well as our guide to the best restaurant point of sale systems. If you're ready to test out Square for Restaurants, there's also a free trial link below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to be notified when we post more restaurant point of sale reviews, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and have a great service.